Uh, hey everyone, CRJ here, enjoying this nice day out with my Michelada. You know, I was gonna make one of these for the show, but it's a nice day out, and why waste it in a kitchen? Target sighted. Now firing missile at Lazy Ass Chef. Okay, 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 I'll show you how to make it. Oh, the US Air Force subscribed to my channel, that's why. Anyway, to begin our Michelada, we first begin here in the fridge. Now we're starting off in the fridge because we need to chill our Mexican beer, which I am censoring because right now with everything going on, if I say YouTube's gonna demonetize my video. But that's not all. We'll also be chilling this can of tomato juice. Some people prefer Clamato cocktail mix. I'm going with tomato juice because it provides a little bit more body. Anyway, the reason why I'm refrigerating the tomato juice is because I want the final Michelada to be nice and chilled. Now, some people will try to solve this problem by adding ice into the cocktail. Me, personally, I don't like putting ice in my Michelada because the ice melts and you're left with a weak beverage. And I'm half Mexican myself. Trust us when we say, we don't want ice. Okay, enough lecturing. Let's make the cocktail. All right, first thing we gotta do is decorate the cocktail glass. Rim the top of the drinking glass. In this case, just your regular 12 ounce pint. Then take our glass and dip it in some tagine, chili lime spice. Okay, once we got it rimmed, add the juice of one lime. Next, add half a cup of our chilled tomato juice. You know what this stuff tastes like? The quote unquote sauce that comes in a can of SpaghettiOs. So contrary to popular belief, you're not eating egg noodles and ketchup, you're eating egg noodles in this stuff. Next, sprinkle in half an ounce of Worcester sauce. And a couple of dashes of Tabasco, depending how spicy you like it. And for an added kick, let's sprinkle in some tagine. Finally, top the rest of the drink off with our beer. Don't just simply dump it in, it's gonna foam up. So just lean the glass over and gently pour in our beer. Okay, it's foaming, wait a minute, wait a minute. Resume pouring. And finally, garnish with a lime wedge. Uh-oh, leftover beer, what to do with it? And voila, a wonderful Mexican beer cocktail. You can make a ton of these for your next summer get together or make enough of these to drink the pain away because this has to be one of the most disingenuous starts to a summer ever. I'm looking at you, Minneapolis Police Department. This has been Jay's Cutting Kitchen. I'm CRJ, making cooking fun and meeting it this time. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, smash the like button. If you really liked the video, become a subscriber and hit the bell notification icon. I upload every Thursday. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram and support me on Patreon. Please support me on Patreon. Every time I had to take off my sunglasses and look up at my drone, my corneas felt like they're going to burn away.